Hey guys, have you guys ever wondered how Downtown Disney became the way it was? Or even how it even started out? Well, let's find out. Downtown Disney is a vibrant entertainment gathering place located between Disney's California Adventure and Disneyland. Downtown Disney features world famous restaurants, one of a kind shops, live street entertainment, dance and music clubs, live shows, and a multiplex movie complex. Come celebrate the spirit of Disney's California adventure. And it's all at the Disneyland Resort in Anaheim. Coming early 2001, only in Southern California. Did you know that Downtown Disney, officially known as the Downtown Disney District, officially opened on January 12th, 2001. It is smaller than its Florida counterpart and former namesake, which became Disney Springs in 2015. It was advertised an exciting dining, entertainment, and shopping promenade located adjacent to the Disney California Adventure Park and Disneyland Park. Before that, it was used as a parking lot. Disneyland and the Disneyland Hotel first. Downtown Disney was constructed as part of a large Disneyland Resort expansion. It was designed to encourage locals to visit and increase resort visits. The project was a part of a $1.4 billion Disney expansion and aimed at tourists and Southern California as a new destination for dinner and movies. It also held 28 shopping stores that included a bookstore, cosmetics shops, and travel agency, and a toy store. It featured the House of Blues and a higher end restaurant and an ESPN zone. It was the first West Coast location for the chain of mega sport bars. Even though there was a drizzle, hundreds of people arrived before 8 a.m. to catch a glimpse of this new destination. It gave people who wanted to go to Disney without needing to buy a ticket to enjoy the magic. Disney's Grand California Hotel and Spa and Disneyland Hotel adjoined downtown Disney and a new on-site hotel was announced to be open in 2021. As such, several businesses closed in, 20, in June 2018, including AMC Theater, Earl of Sandwich, ESPN Zone, Rainforest Cafe, Starbucks West, and the Walt Disney Travel Company. Downtown Disney Monorail Station, originally built in 1961 as part of a Disneyland hotel, will be replaced by a station located inside the new hotel. Following political disputes with the city of Anaheim, the new hotel was put on indefinite hold in August of 2018. By that time, businesses to be displaced by the new hotel had already been shuttered in preparation for its construction. The Downtown Disney live stage in front of the former ESPN Zone building continued hosting live music and food trucks from after ice cream, brew wings, and the habit had since regularly been serving food in front of the former AMC Theater. On September 14, 2018, the Disneyland Resort announced that Earl of Sandwich would reopen at least temporarily. But we all know that they're still back. With that, we all know that things have changed so much in downtown Disney with everything that's been happening throughout this last year and this year. And guess what? That place where the Rainforest Cafe is will be held the Star Wars Outpost. It's already getting prepped and ready to go. So we're hoping that soon it will open up this year. A lot of my friends think that they ought to make that like a Star Wars themed restaurant because it looks like a Jedi temple. Oh, and you know, like you're Jedi right. Really, and then they could serve Star Wars stuff and they go crazy. People who love that would go wacky. And I think that's a really good idea. I don't think it'll happen. Yeah. But my friends are like, that's what they should do. And I'm like, he said, he said, he know, he still they still make that a Star Wars themed restaurant. But did that too? Any, <laughs> other, any of those, right? <laughs> yeah, but that's just like, it as a, the, uh, the truth is, we, we hear so many things and they talk, they switch their minds so fast that when that finally comes, we won't even. Yeah. They'll finally just say, hey, <laughs> Please don't. You get used to that kind of thing. That's just the way it is. Hopefully, some good will come here, either yeah. T Rex or whatever. Yeah, Hopefully, you guys will enjoy it. Right, you, guys. you guys have a great day. Until then, guys, I we'll hope to see you with another Did You Know? And don't forget to like and subscribe at this video and all your many other favorite kinds 
that you like. All right, so see you guys next time.